Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'm making penne with sausage and peppers. Now this is a well-rounded one-pot dish that comes together in no time flat. A few simple ingredients, a few minutes on the stove top, and you've got a delicious dinner that everyone's going to love. Alright, to make this you're going to need 8 ounces of gluten-free penne, a pound of Italian sausage, either hot or sweet, one red pepper, one green pepper, and one onion, all chopped into bite-sized pieces. We'll also need a 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, a few tablespoons of olive oil, two cloves of sliced garlic, a quarter cup of red wine, a quarter cup of cream, which is optional, a teaspoon of thyme or Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and crushed red pepper to suit your own tastes. Okay, now for the sausage. You're going to want to slice it into one inch lengths for this dish. Okay, now in a large pan over a medium high heat, add the cut up sausage with a tablespoon of olive oil and saute for five minutes or so, tossing around the pieces until they're browned on all sides. Then add the peppers and onions to the pan. Now saute for another three or four minutes before using your stirring utensil, in my case a wooden spoon, to clear a small space in the pan. Add the other tablespoon of olive oil along with the sliced garlic and saute for a minute or two. Then when the garlic softens, stir it in with the rest of the ingredients. Then add the crushed tomatoes to the pan. Pour in the wine, add the spices and stir it all together. Once the ingredients are pretty well combined, lower the heat to medium low and cover the pan. If you don't have a lid for the pan, you can always use a comparably sized pan inverted on top as the lid, like I did here. At this point, you can drop the penne into the boiling water to cook, but be sure to salt the water or the pasta will taste flat. Give it a stir and cook the pasta one minute shy of the package instructions, or roughly 10 minutes. When it's done, stir the cooked pasta into the sausage and peppers, but be sure to reserve a little bit of the pasta cooking liquid to loosen up the sauce if it looks too dry. Add the cream if you're using it and stir to get all the pasta nicely coated and then the dish is ready to serve. And remember if you'd like to print today's recipe you can always visit my blog in the link below. And for new recipes every week don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.